In July this year, the Greater Accra Regional Coordinating Council served notice to demolish all structures at the Sakumo Ramsha site. By next week, we will be coming to Ramsa site. RecSec members, lands will come full breach, and we want full details of what is happening there. So those of you on the Ramsa sites, we are coming. We will be there very soon. Later on October 19, some structures built along water courses at the Ramsa site at Klagon in the Tema West municipality were pulled down in an exercise carried out by the Greater Accra Regional Coordinating Council. The exercise conducted with the support of the military, police and immigration service was to reclaim the Ramsa site. A number of fence walls were pulled down. Structures, which were also under development up to the lentil level, were also demolished as part of a program to protect the remaining land space within the Ramsa. The Greater Accra Minister, Harry Corti, explained the exercise has become necessary due to the level of encroachment. What the exercise is about today is to target buildings, or in fact, fence walls that have been erected in the core area, water. They are building in the water. So the men and women, as you see today, will have three phases of the work. Today, tomorrow, and day three, they are going to bring down all the fence walls that are in the water. I'm sure you've been seen it. Once they've done that, there will be another critical assessment where the agency and the land, forestry, will now identify buildings that are still sited in the waterway. In what appears to be a youth end, at a stakeholders' engagement on Sunday, November 6, 2022, the Greater Accra Regional Minister, Harry Corti, revealed no building at Sakumu will be pulled down. I want to say here and now that not a single building will be demolished. We will go through some processes of discussions and we will have this kind of meeting again in about three weeks' time. By which time? We would have had a clear roadmap. So if you wake up in the morning and you find somebody demolishing somebody's house, mole, security intelligence agencies are here. They work with instructions. They will be there to assist lands, forestry commission, to go through some processes. But I can tell you that not even one building will be touched. He added measures have rather been put in place to get the structures regularized. Regional community because we don't have the powers on the locals to do regularization. But one thing I can assure you, regularization, inshallah, inshallah. But as it stands now, you have over 4,000 houses. They are built already. The Sakumo Ramsha site covers an area of 1,365 hectares with surrounding catchment area of about 27,634 hectares. It is rated the third most important site for seesaw beds on the Ghanaian coast. It became nationally reserved under the tenants of the International Treaty of Ramsa Convention on Wetlands, which the government of Ghana ratified in June 1988. The Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission took over after negotiations in 1992. However, encroachment has taken a greater portion of the wetlands. Joseph Armstrong, Gold, Alibo TV3, Accra.